I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I slept with everybody and their brother. I, I was a womanizer. I was, I, you know, I was a drug addict. I did drugs. I slept with everybody and their brother. I, I slept with everybody and their brother. I, I slept with everybody and their brother. I hurt women. I lied to them. I slept with everybody and their brother. 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 I Mark, I I'll, I'll, I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I slept with everybody and their brother. All right, gonna show you yet more screenshots from the devil possessed liar. Rich Pinkowski, and he is exposing himself this time as a devil-possessed stalker, something he accuses his critics of being. But basically these screenshots I have here are of Facebook posts that he was making as uh, Eric Love, I think it's what his name is, Eric Love, was doing a live stream and he also had a bunch of Facebook posts falsely accusing Eric of basically trying to uh, harass their 17-year-old daughter named Ariana Pinkowski or whatever and I've seen the screenshots Eric sent me the screenshots and Rich is lying he's deceiving his people but he has these loyal cult followers who just listen to everything he says and just take everything he says as truth and never look at both sides of the story like Proverbs eighteen thirteen says he that answereth and married before he heareth it it is folly and shame unto him but I got these uh, screenshots that I will show and these are all from just today so he accuses Eric of being obsessed with him. And of course, I don't agree with Eric on everything on a doctrinal standpoint. You know, we have some disagreements. Um, but I can see that this Rich Pankowski guy is clearly a devil and clearly an obsessed devil and clearly a wicked, lying, false accuser. And personally, I think he should uh, be locked up and behind bars because he's, he's pretty, pretty wicked. But here is one of the screenshots. This is of one of the, uh, oh, and one of the comments too, actually, he actually was uh, wishing that God would let him watch, like watch God put, like throw his critics in hell or something like that. It's really ridiculous. But uh, one of the screenshots, he, um, I'll just zoom in on this. And, and this is, you know, all because Pankowski cannot deal with the fact that he just got exposed. So he, you know, he calls EJ, he calls him a homo. He, you know, in the comments of the Instagram post, he accused me of, um, of basically like being a, a homo buddy of EJ, and you know, act like I'm some kind, of, act like I'm some kind of cult follower of EJ. When really, I mean, for a while, EJ and I were kind of, we were kind of YouTube enemies. We would, you know, I'd make videos against him, but, you know, I see what he's going through with this whole Richard Pinkowski thing, and I see that yeah, he's clearly in the right, and Pinkowski is the one who is the wicked devil here. So. You know, again, I don't agree with EJ on everything, but he's right. I mean, and, and EJ is more doctrinally sound than Pinkowski is. I mean, EJ, he's saved. I believe he's saved. I believe he's a brother in Christ. But this Pinkowski devil, yeah, he's lost. He's a child of Satan. Uh, uh, Richard Pinkowski, he says, he's accusing busy EJ of uh, the following. He says uh, this to this other guy. I don't. I have a stalker, a literal stalker who slander my who who slander or uh, slander my family. Uh, some gram grammatical errors there. I have a literal stalker who slander my family, um, and I almost daily. So he forgot to put the S there. But what do you expect? Because he basically writes like he's high on drugs. So I mean, literally, there are kindergartners who are like less than half my age, I'm turning 20 soon, less than half my age who have better English and better grammar than this guy. But yeah, he claims to be like, oh, I'm so smart. I, I know Greek and Hebrew. I know this. I know that. Learn to, learn to write English before you start bragging about you know a different language. Just word of advice. He says, uh, has caused, uh, has, uh, I caused, I think he meant to write accused, but can't, again, he can't spell anything. I mean, he writes like he's high on, on weed or, or meth or whatever. Has a caused my wife of making porn has stalked my 17 year old online, literally watches all my social media accounts. Yeah, lies, lies, and lies about me constantly. I want to watch God, God throw guys like this into hell. <laughs> yeah, really, the only one that's gonna get thrown into hell is you, Pinkowski. 
okay? You're a wicked devil. You're a false accuser. You're a child of Satan. You're a child of pride, just like your father, Satan. You read about that in Job 30, uh, 41, 34. So you're the one that's gonna, gonna get thrown into hell. And no, I'm not some kind of cult follower of EJ, okay? Again, we just, I'd have some dis disagreements on various doctrinal stances, but uh, you're the wicked, you're a wicked devil, Bikoski. I'll just put it at that. And, you know, EJ is, I do believe he's saved. He is a brother in Christ. So here's another comment that was actually made very like, like while EJ was doing his live stream about how Pinkowski is doing damage control and he basically is essentially accusing EJ of being a pedophile. He's like, nice try, pedo. Real nice, real, real, you know, these, de these are definitely actions of a, of a pastor, you know, a man who's, who's supposedly a pastor. Yeah, is a lazy bum who does not want to work for a living. But here's another comment, again, accusing EJ of, of being a sodomite. I mean, this guy is just so obsessed with sodomites. Like, like anyone who goes against him is a sodomite, apparently. It's ridiculous. Um, but he says, uh, another pride loon uh, made another uh, made made another your channel and made another video exposing my lies. Again, this guy does not know grammar. Made another your channel, huh? I think he meant to say YouTube channel, but um, apparently it seems like he has not passed kindergarten yet, so. Uh, maybe he might want to go back to kindergarten and learn how to write, read and write in English again. So just a word of advice. You might want to get, uh, get back into preschool and then learn how to write properly. Because apparently you, you did not pass kindergarten. That's right. Another reprobate who has never seen, seen it met me wants you to believe. I mean, it's just funny. The guy, he, I keep saying he just can't write anything in English without having loads of grammar errors. He never seen it meet me, met me. He meant to say seen or met me, but seen it met me. Want you to believe that he is the expert on Rich Pankowski. I love how he's typing in, th in third person, but can you guess who he's trying to who he's trying to yoke up? That's right, another Pride supporter who wants to work work with Eric Love. I wonder why only LGBT supporters agree with what Eric says. Um, Eric openly expressed to me in the comments that he does not support the pro sodomite perversion of that video maker, but you know, there he was bringing out a lot of truth in that video, exposing the wicked lies of Rich Pankowski. That's what he is, a wicked con man. And no, not everyone who uh, Pankowski, not everyone who goes against you is a sodomite. Okay, if anything, you're a sodomite. I mean, you're the, you're the probably one of, you're probably the gayest person I've ever listened to. Like I've listened to some of your your little live streams. You're the gayest person. Like you're probably one of the most gayest people I've ever heard. I mean, you would fit into San Francisco so well. It's insane. It's it, it is literally insane how well you would fit into San Francisco. It's it's, it's just ridiculous. Uh, he says this is you know again during when Eric was doing his live stream. Apparently, Eric Love is making a live video right now in full damage control. Now in full damage control because it's funny because he was actually proving that Pankowski is the one doing damage control. But really, who's the one obsessing? Who's the one stalking? You know, Pankowski was in there trolling the YouTube channel and apparently he found out that on one of the backup channels Eric was doing a live stream. Who is really the stalker there? You wicked little hypocrite, Pharisee. Read about that in Luke chapter uh, twelve verses one. The eleven of the Pharisees is hypocrisy. P Pankowski is a Pharisee. Accusing my daughter of being a lesbian. He just can't stop talking about my children. Lol. Yeah. More lies from the lying Satanist, Rich Pankowski. That's what he is. He's just a Satanist. If you, if you believe you can be sinlessly perfect, you're a Satanist. Because what was the lie that Satan told uh, Eve in the garden in Genesis chapter 3, verse 5? Ye shall be as gods. You know, I can become sinless just like God. I can basically become my own God. What did Satan say in Isaiah chapter 14, verse number 14? I'll be like the most high. If you're if you're trying to be sinlessly perfect, you're trying to be like the most high. Because Revelation 15, 4 and 1 Samuel 2, verse 2, is clear that God is the only one that is holy and without iniquity. Okay, you're not holy without Jesus Christ and his righteousness given to you at the cross. You're not, I mean, so if you think you, you can become sinlessly perfect, you're a Satanist. Hey, you're, you're believing Satanism because that's what Satanism is. Self-righteousness and trying to become your own God is Satanism by biblical standards. So Rich Pankowski is a Satanist. So I, I've 
every biblical ground to call him a Satanist, because that's what he is. Uh, he says uh, in this comment, one of Eric Love's followers is threatening to get a restraining order in in an admin in AU that hasn't been an ad that hasn't been an admin for a year. She's afraid of being exposed for saying she wanted to starve her children. And you talk about children, the thing is, is that Pinkowski lets his kids watch Disney films and superhero films, which are all all depictions of the Antichrist and filled with occultism. Well, the Disney films are often filled with occultism and witchcraft and all the other wicked stuff. And the superhero films are often just depictions of the Antichrist and, ba and based off pagan Greco-Roman gods. Real, real quality content for Christian children right there. Uh, the other screenshot, he says, uh, this guy, Eric Love, is a reprobate. And keep in mind, these are all screenshots he's sent within the last couple of hours. But then he claims that Eric is obsessed with him. Meanwhile, he's just making like, like 12 plus Facebook posts attacking Eric, who's really obsessed. Uh, this guy, Eric Love, is a reprobate. Uh, he is a, he is, he is class, he is class, huh? I mean, learn how to learn how to type English before you just go around running your mouth against people. Again, like I said, you might want to go back to kindergarten and try to pass that, pass kindergarten English class before you try to you know go around, go around running your mouth against people. Now he class I sent someone to rob his house. Lol. Uh, this is the mind of a reprobate slanderer. That's what you are. You're a reprobate slanderer, Pinkowski. You are a wicked false accuser and a slanderer and, and basically an accuser of the brethren, just like your father Satan in Revelation 12, uh, 12 verse 10. Do you Christians know what slander is? He is an accuser of the brethren. Actually, you are, Pinkowski. Please take a look at his many YouTube channels. Everything is an accusation against someone and it's slander. This is not any fruit of the spirit. Go watch EJ's video showing how Pinkowski made a fake EJ's mobile detailing Facebook page. You want to see some fruit? Yeah, look at that fruit. The fruit that comes out of Pinkowski's ministry is is wicked. It's disgusting. It's satanic. Uh, in our face, in our, in our screenshot. Uh, Eric Love has worked with this quote unquote winner. What kind of Christian is willing to work with a pride loon? Don't be deceived. We won. Uh, we won this judgment, and we will be vol and then, and then voluntarily dismissed as an act of mercy when the judgments when the subjects husband left her because of her obsessive stalking uh it's the spirit of sodom that works in these people uh their behavior is exactly the same so more of that stuff down there again every, everything is like oh everything's everything that goes against pankowski is a sodomite when really again pankowski is the gayest person i've ever like listened to on the internet again I, like i said earlier he would fit into san francisco so well it's it's insane uh he says again Eric Love is lying, obsessing over me again. This time he desperately wants Greg Locke to talk to him. Proves my point of sit of stalking and sitting around making videos about me like a jaded lover. Jilted lover. What what he doesn't know is Greg and I have reconciled things. Yeah, but in that video you were just mentioning Greg Locke over and over and over and over and over again. You just went out I mean the whole video is like like a compilation of you just mentioning his name. I mean that that, that is gay. That is really, really uh, sodomite if you even want to put it that way, sodomite-like. And another screenshot. So here is, again, you know, here are some more screenshots of Eric Love, the quote, only real Christian. I've never heard him claim that, the only real Christian. I, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I've never heard him claim that. But, you know, again, this is how a married Christian man behaves. You're not married, Pankowski. You're in adultery. You're guilty of adultery. This, the, the wicked sin of adultery. Lie after lie after lie, slander after slander, he can't stop talking about me. So you go on and make like 12 plus Facebook posts. Who is, who is the real stalker? You uh, hypocritical Pharisee. Again, this is only a sample of this married man who apparently has all the time in the world to make all these videos. Yeah, he actually works for a living. He earns his money properly. You just sit at home and take donate, just take money from people via donations. You don't want, you don't work. And you have no appreciation for those who do work. You're just a you're just a lazy bum who just sits around and just begs for money from people and donations, because you're too lazy to actually get a, get a job and and earn your own money. Like Second Timothy five eight says, you're an infidel. You've denied the faith and you're worse than an infidel. Of course, speaking to save people, and you're most definitely not saved. You're lost. You're a child of Satan. But if you were saved, you're you're an infidel. You have denied the faith. You're 
not providing for your own. You're just sitting around making doing little live streams and then begging for donations because you don't want to work with your hands and earn money properly. Uh, he says, remember we have a restraining order against an LGBT follower of his for threatening my wife and I on his channel. What about all the times where your, your wicked followers were sending death threats to Eric? We're not going to talk about that though, because you know, of course, he would, uh, he would be, he would, just, he would just expose himself if he ever brought that up. But again, another screenshot. Here are screenshots of some of Eric loves, Eric videos, video. <laughs> uh, just some of those screenshots made me, some of those thumbnails made me laugh. Of Eric Love, of of some of the videos that Eric Love has made against him. Uh, they are they there are ones on our left. He and he has several removed. And sorry, he has several. He has had several removed, and some he took down. He even paid fifty dollars to Cameo to have Chris Hansen make a video, which was removed on the Cameo site for defamation. He is a stalker, and we had a temporary restraining order against him for stalking. We dismissed it after he promised to leave us alone. He lied and said the judge dismissed the case because there's no case, and that that's just a flat out lie. Oh, well, I don't believe you, Pinkowski. I think you're the liar here because. You have proved to be a liar over and over again. Because you're a liar just like your father Satan. See John 8, 44. Uh, the judge dismissed his motion uh, motion to dismiss twice. The man has a history of abusing women and has even been accused of abusing children more more than once. Yeah, and th that was likely in his lost past life, which he has since repented of. Even Lauren Daigle, who, had, who passed around his photo at her concert because she was deathly afraid of this wacko. Wow, I mean, crazy. Uh, again, is this the behavior of a Christian? Well, what about making a fake Facebook page trying to impersonate their business? Oh, but don't worry. I've saved the best screenshot for last. Don't worry. I've saved the best one for last. Uh, so here he says again in this other screenshot. I mean, again, I mean, like, what has it been like, what, 10 screenshots so far? But who's, but, but then somehow, somehow Eric is the one that's obsessed. No, it would seem that Pinkowski is the one that's the obsessed devil here. More proof of Eric Love the Stalker creates multiple YouTube channels and makes video after video about me. What about you doing streams calling him falsely accusing him of being a child predator? I mean, like your blatant hypocrisy is just, just, just I mean, every single post you have, you, you're, you, you've you're done something that, that just completely contradicts it. What kind of man who is married has time to make video after video to download pic after pic, sit around and make memes and thumbnails out of pictures? Yeah. Coming from you, a guy who doesn't even work, who just sits around, sits around and takes money from people because you're too lazy to actually get a job. Wow, what a disgusting hypocrite you are, you wicked little Pharisee. Is, is this how Christians behave? Apparently, some of, to some to some it is. Uh, three more screenshots. This video is getting long enough. So Eric knows, Eric Love knows my daughter's style, knows her online activity, knows she is shy, but he isn't stalking my 17 year old, right? Um, it was actually that account that messaged him first, you know? And it wasn't even their quote unquote 17 year old daughter, it was actually uh, most likely his uh, Jezebel wife. And he got, um, this comment was actually of one of the earlier posts. Now here's the best comment. Here is the, the best one saved for last. Let me just make sure I'm still recording. Yeah, I am. Just want to make sure I'm still recording. I got the best one saved for last. So this just shows how much of a cult leader Pankowski is. Look at this. He says, I hope God lets us watch him throw our slanderers into hell. I really want to see that. Oh, wow. Isn't that really nice? So it just shows that he wishes death and hell upon his critics. Just like any cult leader would. I mean, just like the new IFB cult. Just like any other cult out there. Like the Jack Hiles cult. Like the, what what's that group? The Nation of Islam. Anyone. Uh, just like, just even just like regular Islam. Orthodox Islam. They wish death upon people who disagree with them. And he's wishing that God would actually give him like a front row seat as he casts his critics into hell. Because again, cult leaders like Pankowski don't like it when they're criticized. So just thought I'd show you these screenshots of just the obsessive devil possessed nature of this wicked devil, Pankowski. Don't, don't get sucked into this devil's cult and don't get sucked into believing his lies that, oh, because he opposes the drag queen freaks and all the, all the sodomites out there, then he must be somehow good. No. A broken clock is right twice a day, and he is a wicked devil 
that is a minister of Satan masquerading as a minister of Christ. You can see that in um, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 13 to 15. Don't be deceived by Pankowski and don't be deceived by his cult. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back.